hello 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 everyone welcome back to the channel guys um i hope you're doing fine my name is Eunice and of course this is actually part if it's your first time here you are very much so welcome uh, make it a point to subscribe share the videos and of course let me know what you think about the whole channel whatever you want to see what you've seen and maybe it was a bit weird for you in the comment section otherwise you're very much welcome and guess what um i'm going to make for you guys juice like i want to show you how to make juice without a blender without a i don't know what other thing is called i don't know if there's any other machine which is used for making juice apart from blender please let me know in the comment section i think for me i only know a blender but this is how we do it without a blender we just use a sieve whatever juice like whatever fruit you're going to make so today we are going to share passion fruits it's a season so there are a lot in the market like there are plenty so we i love this juice and yesterday i'm going to make it so i just decided to share it with you i mean why not so guys right here is sugar this is just water yeah and I'm, i choose to make it here because i wanted something big so i'm making it in the pan and this is the seed that i'm going to use so guys um now this uh if i'm making little juice like maybe about two fruits only i always use a spoon and if it's like a more like as you can see the fruits are many today i use this like it's easier to it saves time to squeeze the juice out of it so guys how about we just jump into this straight away are you excited let me know in the comment section so guys i'll just go ahead and cut the fruits so guys here we have two varieties of passion fruits by the way there's this oh how i wish i'd i think i'm going to show you that the next time sorry but there is a yellow there is a yellow one and then this uh this very variety here now the difference is the yellow one i don't love it and that's the reason actually i never make juice out of it it's sour and me i have ulcers so it kind of gives me some heartburn there's a way i feel after drinking it after drinking the juice so i don't love the other one but i know that people who like it um i prefer this one to the other one but still the other one is not bad please if you love the other one also let me know in the comment section but for me, I prefer this one to the other ones. And as you can notice, this one has a lot of juice. It's even just dripping on its own. Before even I do anything, it's already dripping. Hmm? I love this variety so much. It has a lot of juice. But in case there are other varieties also in your area, please let me know. Because I think for us, we only have two these purple ones and the other yellow ones So like I told you all around, this one has a lot of juice. You can notice, this is pure juice, like without any drop of water in it, by the way. But to make it easy to squeeze out the juice, I add in some sugar. So the roughness of the sugar brings out the juice really fast. Then I just rub this like this.
I think you notice that didn't even take long very fast and you're done and you just have your juice at home to drink the only reason I don't love to plant uh, passion fruits around the compound are I fear snakes and you know there's even passion fruits grow the leaves like I don't know it gets so I don't even know which one to use like the leaves are really thick so there's a lot of risk of snakes especially in an area like mine here it's so risky to plant such around the compound so that's the reason i end up buying but surely i would i wouldn't i wouldn't have preferred to buy it i just love to pluck from the tree and straight squeezing juice but because of that trees mm -mm, i'd rather buy <laughs> So another thing, I cannot make a lot because it might go bad. I only make what we can drink and finish. And then maybe in case we need more juice, I'll make this one later. To avoid wasting. seed now because the juice is out of it already so you notice the color difference so straight away let me go ahead and maybe add in some sugar in case it's not enough remember i added sugar when i was squeezing so at this point when i'm adding sugar i don't need to add a lot So I think I'm going to go ahead and test for the sugar in case it's not enough then I can add in but you can see all the juice it's really much I'm perfect <laughs> I don't even need to add more water not even more sugar and that is just it very simple very easy even if you have a blender sometimes you can try it out and just you know get the experience eh? <laughs> you might have want to experience village at, at in your urban center eh? so you can also try it out even if you're in an urban place just to feel something different once in a while and i can tell you the juice comes out really nice like i don't know there's there's a there's why it's natural i don't know but it's really cold especially if you have some cold water unfortunately we don't have power here so we don't drink something cold but still i can tell you that it's nice because it's fresh fruits like it's really very healthy hmm? <laughs> i hope you've learned this one guys uh, let me know in the comment section if you have ever had this experience of making just like this or you have never i mean how do you do it with a blender or with what let me know in the comment section as, as for us we're going to drink some juice <laughs> Please make it a point to subscribe if you're not and please give the video a like. Huh? I'm out.